今我々はあの今日のフィッシング終わってほんで5時からのこの昨日あのオファーがあってやってくれないかと地元のサーモンフェスティバルのほんで今ハメニーハメニーシェフギアハメニーステーションハメニーステーションいや。6あの6軒の店で皆さん見てみたらものすごくプロフェッショナルですねだから僕もまあまあ昨日はちょっと気抜いたんですけどちょっと気合い入れてないけどまああるものでまあやってみようかなほんでこちらの人のテイスティングをちょっと見てみようかなほんでフィンが今日はですね35ポンドフィンハメリップ What size do you catch is a あの料理をちょっと説明します。今日釣った魚のこのまあ皆さんここで綺麗にしますよね。それをちょっと身の残ったところをもらってこのようにミートにしてこれご飯とつけます。これ面白いと思う。Yes。それをまあ皆さんの反応ちょっと見てみます。Okay. It was enjoyable mainly because, well, it wasn't like fish would always snag onto your、uh, lure right away. You'd have some time to wait, talk to everyone in the boat, and then once in a while you catch a fish, have a few laughs. It was fun. I've known Tojo since I was around a,、uh, four years old, so、um, he's, been, he's been there in my life. I've known him for a bit. So I thought it'd be, I've, I've known the guys here too, so I thought it'd be quite enjoyable to.、Um, Uh, come and work here and test it out and see how much a、uh, fun I could have. It's been a great experience for the summer so far, and、um, I enjoy working here while using my own time. It's interesting getting to know techniques in certain ways and how you can clean this, how you can clean that, how you prepare this, how you prepare that, and a,、um, different styles and ways that people do things. Because as you see, I've learned that a,、uh, Japanese ways of cooking are quite different from Western ways of cooking it, with the preparation and Techniques and what you use to cook this and what you use to cook that, how you cook it, how you cook that. And it's interesting to see that implemented in this、uh, kitchen. I use this、um, as a majority of my job. See, this is mostly for cutting vegetables, cutting meat. Not so much for fish, but it's really a,、um, has, it's a multi purpose knife. I keep it nice and sharp because I use it the most.、Uh, this is usually out at least 80% of my job. Doing what I can with it. And、uh, it's a great knife. Tojo gave it to me. All right, and this knife,、uh, my, fish, <laughs> my fish cutting knife, which still has a、uh, remnant of salmon scales on it.、Uh, this knife I don't use、uh, as much because I'm not cutting as much fish as、uh, seeing that I'm quite inexperienced with it. But、um, this one is the biggest pain in the ass to keep a,、uh, clean because you can't, you can't get it wet or else it'll rust. See, I've already got, I've already got a bit of rust on this thing because I. Haven't kept it in tip top shape, but it's, it's one of the、uh, nicer knives that I have. And I,、uh, honestly, it's a very nice knife, but、um, I haven't been found much use for it. But eventually I will, seeing all the salmon I caught. I'll、uh, have to cut that up, gut it, and I,、um, do what I can with this knife. <laughs> 取ってこられたらすぐ、えー、と解体してちっちゃな、まあ、あのサイズに切ってその丸ごと冷凍するんじゃなくてすぐ解体してこれを取ってちっちゃく、まあ、食べね 1, 1回分ぐらいずあのブロックにしてそれをサランラップに包んでバッキュームしてマイナス20度の
冷蔵庫、まあ、家庭の、ね、マイナス20度まで凍るのがありますからそれを最低2日間、まあ、48時間以上凍らせたら死ぬと言われてるんですね感動あのー、なんてサーモンのあれがねだからそれを出てやってくださいほんでそれができない場合は、まあ、普通の,あのそれはお刺身にやるがいいですねもちろん火を通すものは問題ないですだからお刺身にする場合は必ず冷凍してから最低48時間冷凍したから解凍してあの食べることそしたらもう間違いないそれはもう衛生局が言ってますからねまあ普通こっちの衛生局が言うのはマイナス20度言ってますけど我々はもうマイナス40度に使いますけどまあマイナス10度やったら大丈夫ですよで,、まあ、できるだけちっちゃく切って早く凍らせてやった方がいいと思いますね、はい、でもマイナス10度と凍らすのとマイナス40度で凍らすのではね瞬間的に凍るからその何ちゅうな魚の肉の,あの細胞がそ細かくすぐに凍るからあの溶かした時にあの汁が出ないんですねだからそのゆっくりやっぱり凍らしたらやっぱりあの細胞が分解されちゃって溶かした時にある程度あのドロップっていうのがありますよね、まあ、そ,それだけの違いかな。はい Believe it or not, and this is straight up score. Tojo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yep. Thank you. I bet the two of us are better. <laughs> <laughs>